Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Daniela Velasquez, and I'm talking with Vice President of Partnership and Program Development at Cortex Innovation Community Center, Phyllis Ellison, where we're learning all about STL Startup Week. And these 30 events <laughs> 30 <laughs> at 25 events? different places. It's a lot going on, and, and that's intentional. Um, we have over it's probably 40 or 45 different organizations that are pitching in to make this week happen. And so we want people to be able to come out, meet these resources that we have right here in our own community. Everyone has somebody um, that they know that always has the great idea, but doesn't know what to do to grow that into a business. And this week is designed to help those people connect with mentoring organizations, maybe if they're far enough along, some financing, um, and just to connect in with a wonderful community of thousands of startups here in the region. So let's talk a little bit about what are the kinds of things that make a, a region so, the, make the right ecosystem for an entrepreneur. What does an entrepreneur, what does a startup need to be successful? Um, to be successful, they really, they need, um, funding will be the first thing that people say, but that's usually the last thing that they actually need access to. Um, they need a great idea. Um, and there are some resources here that can help them evaluate an idea. Is this good enough? Have I thought about it in enough detail? Um, secondly, you need people around you. Um, we have very smart entrepreneurs, and the best thing they can do is bring in other smart people that have experience in areas that they don't. So finding access and finding a community that you can talk to, that you can share ideas in, and you can find those resources either to contract with or maybe to hire as you start to grow. Um, those pieces are all important. So it's a big deal. St. Louis is number two in the nation, uh, ranked by Forbes magazine for places for rising entrepreneurship or rising entrepreneurs. Yes. Why is St. Louis a good place? And why do, why do people need to support this week? Um, so St. Louis is really, um, it's another one of those overnight success things. St. Louis is really about 15 years into growing the startup community here. It takes about 30 years to grow a really successful, mature community to surround our startups through. Um, there are so many people in our, in our neighborhoods that we all know that have the great idea that maybe don't realize that these resources exist yet. And that is my number one goal, is to get more people out, to connect into things, to help them grow their ideas and be successful. It's really important in our community also because uh, startups are the number one creator of new jobs. So from an economic development standpoint, this is critical to our region, and we're really filling the pipeline to create the next generation of big companies that our kids and our grandkids are going to be employed in 20, 30, 40 years from now. When you talk about that step, that, that startups are the number one job growth, job driver, what's, what's that like? What's usually the reaction that you get? Are people oh, surprised? People are shocked. Um, and it's, it's hard because um, I'm excited when, when a small business that I know goes from two people to four people. But that's not going to make the headline you know, on the evening news. Um, but when you start to take all of those small businesses and they're all hiring, um, across the state of Missouri over the last five years, there have been over 40,000 jobs every year being created by startups. 40,000 jobs. Um, wow. That's not over five years, that's every year. And when you start to see numbers like that and recognize the, recognizing that St. Louis is a big part of the economy for the state, a lot of that action is happening here as well. Well, great. We'll find out even more after this break.